I had to back up and pick this up this morning. This is a fresh uh, porcupine. They got run over on the road. Just too many good quills just to let it go to waste. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest some of these quills and I think we'll do another video on how to die, uh, clean and prepare and then dye some quills. We're going to dye some, some quills today. I got a few few quills here that I'm going to dye. I need some, need some more red. So I'm going to dye some red. I bought me some more dye this morning, but the red's what I'm going to use. I'm just uh, just got a frying pan because I don't need a whole lot of water. Just enough to kind of cover the quills I'm using. What I like to use, I like to use just just a drip of soap or Dawn dishwasher soap. Doesn't need a whole lot. Basically, it'll just it'll help cut uh, the grease. They're still they're still going to be even though I washed I've washed these in Dawn, uh, washed all the uh, obvious dirt and grease off them. So these are these are pretty clean. But I'll still put a little little Dawn in in the water that I'm dying with because it kind of helps break any grease that'll still come to the surface when you're dyeing the quills and it'll allow the dye to soak in a little better so so we'll get the get the dye out here and I'm just using regular writ dye for this I'm using the, the I guess it's called scarlet it's actually red and I'm just going to use about half a, half the thing half the container of dye Save, save the rest. But that makes a makes a pretty good rib. Now the main thing is you don't want to boil. You don't want to actually boil the, the quills. If you boil them, they just turn into a gummy ball. It just turns back into protein, and it'll just you know, ruin them. So all you want to do is simmer, simmer your quills. So we got our. Got our hot water, got our dye in it. Now we just throw our quills in and start. Start working those in. Okay, all we're going to do now, we're just going to keep keep working these. Like I say, you, just, you want them to simmer. You can see the steam coming off, but you don't want them to boil. So all we're going to do, we're just going to keep simmering them until we get the color, color red that we want. You can see it's already there, already a pink. So we'll just keep working them, keep turning them. Okay, we're starting to get a little deeper red now. We're just going to keep them simmering until we get the desired red that, that we want, as dark as we want them. So we'll just, we'll just keep them going and check them again. The main thing is keep, keep stirring them because you got to keep stirring them make sure they get evenly coated. Okay, it's almost been almost been 10 minutes and you can see we're getting a we're getting a good a good red now it's not it's not quite as dark yet as I as I want so I mean we're still gonna they're gonna keep turning them keep stirring them I added just a touch more Dawn dishwashing soap you see I got a few more bubbles a few more bubbles on top and like I said when you when you're simmering it it'll it'll bring the natural oil out of the quills and I think that helps to put a little soap in there to to break that oil. It allows that dye to soak in better. So we'll keep keep working them. So they're starting to look really good now.
Okay, we've got a real, real good looking red there now. I'm going to turn my, turn my fire off. The water's still warm, so I'm just going to keep working them while my, while my water's uh, still good and warm. You can see the, the good red that we're, we're getting to now. So what I'll do, what I, like I said, I'm going to let these soak still for another, it's been about, eh, it's been pushing 15 minutes. It seems like red is one of the, one color that it really, you got to really work it into the, into the quills. But I'm going to get some cold, uh, cold ice water and I'm just going to dip these uh, quills out and we'll go rinse them in the, in the ice cold, uh, ice cold water. So I get that ready and. And we can go to that stage. There, we've got them. A, we got them a good red now. And now all we're gonna do is just kind of scoop these up and just move them over to our cold water bath. So I'll get all these scooped up and we'll, and we'll stir them around in the cold water. We'll probably rinse it two or three times. Okay, got them all moved over to the cold water bath. Now we're we'll just gonna stir these around, rinse them off. Basically, all we're doing is rinsing them. Gonna rinse them good. Then we we'll just put them out on the paper towel, and the newspaper. The newspaper works fine too. And you just let them let them dry a good. A good 24 hours or more, depending on how humid it is or warm out. You don't want to put them in a closed container. They'll, they'll mildew you on them, on you. That's all there is to it. That's, actually, that's working pretty good. Right there's a finished. Uh, let's see. Let me get a hold of more of that. That turned out. Oop. A, turned out pretty good work fine. Okay, we've got them rinsed. Rinsed good. All I'm doing now is just take them out, shake them just a little bit to get some of the water off. And we're just going to lay them out on a paper towel. All there is to it. Now we just let these dry. And they're ready to use. Thanks for watching.